if you're not at least 18 years of age or if you're somebody who thinks that women don't have rights when it comes to their body or if you're somebody who is super conservative and believes that women shouldn't be able to even breastfeed in public or if you're one of my family members please click out of this video don't watch it or you can watch it and give me a free view it's up to you either way don't leave a comment i don't want to hear anything don't ask me about it don't ask if my parents know don't ask what my parents think about it because at the end of the day this is my body okay disclaimer over <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe. But today, as you can tell by the title, I'm about to go get some needles through my nips. So let's go. So we're waiting outside and it is only the person who's getting pierced a lot inside, which we kind of already knew. The lighting is terrible that way. So both of my roommates are here. Well, two of three are here for moral support so we love that and yeah so see y'all whenever i am going in to prepare yeah all right i'm gonna clean and then mark your nipples all right thank you so much all right so i suck at giving updates but updates after like i think we're about an hour and a half later um the pain definitely was more there afterwards it's not really even pain it's just like irritation and you're kind of like it's like a mental block it was a mental block for me and i just had to make sure like i wasn't hitting anything wearing my seatbelt, i had to like not wear it over my chest so other than that i feel fine now i give the pain like five or six out of ten the second one definitely is you feel it a lot more than the first so that's something that I saw a lot of people say and I definitely agree with that. So, but I did get the H2O Ocean Spray. Um, and then I also stopped by CVS and I got some non-stick pads. I saw some people recommend these. Yeah. And then some just regular like tape. All right, hey guys, it has been exactly one week since I got my nipples pierced. So I'm gonna try to break down everything as much as I can. So let's get on into it. So first things first, the cost was $80. So 40 for each nipple and then I tipped about $15. So I spent $95 total and I've seen places that are way more expensive than that, so it wasn't too bad, but this is definitely a pricey piercing, so please make sure you save your coins if you're looking to get this one done. I cannot stress this enough. The pain that I felt after getting them done was literally worse than the pain of the piercing. It's like a throbbing pain that you feel for like one to two hours after your piercing and it's just like i was literally in the car driving like <sighs> like i was trying to get through a labor pain or a freaking cramp pain but it was 10 times worse than a cramp i don't know what labor pains feel like but that shit hurt it hurt so everybody's body is different i would just recommend that you know your body you know what pain you're able to handle if you feel like you can't handle it this is not the piercing for you it's not <laughs> But afterwards, I did take about 500 milligrams of Tylenol, and that was like an hour after. And the irritation went down a lot, so I was feeling much better. But that first hour, girl, that was some pain I have never felt before. I was feeling unwell. <laughs> Shout out, Caller Daddy. But. I feel 10 times better now. A week later, I have no pain. Like, they're not sensitive to touch. Um, I can clean them. I clean them about three times a day with the salt spray and then once with antibacterial soap while I'm in the shower. And you kind of want to move the barbell just side to side. They don't recommend rotating, but just moving it, making sure the soap gets in there and then rinsing it and then just leaving it alone. Let it air dry. And then you can put like a loose spinning shirt on or like a cami or even a sports bra. I've been wearing sports bras non-stop so 
I do recommend that. Uh, they've definitely worked for me, so this is really case by case and you just have to do what's best for you. Don't let all the outside noise affect you, just do what's best for you. I also do want to say that you really want to do your research. Please make sure whatever shop you go to that you do your research, you know that the piercer is reputable and you honestly ask questions. I had a whole list of questions that I typed out in my phone and you just have to make sure that you are comfortable and that you're doing this only for yourself and not for anyone else. That's the main thing. Never do anything for somebody else. Please, if you don't do anything, do that for yourself. And honestly, that's it. I'm healing great. I haven't snagged it. I'm only a weekend, but I've heard that snagging is literally the worst possible thing you can do when it's healing. So when I tell you I'm being careful, I'm taking my bra off, like, ooh, like don't touch me. So that's pretty much it. So if you guys want me to do like a six month or a three month update, just let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I hope this answered your questions or just resolved your fears. This is your sign, girl. Go get your nipples pierced. Do it for you because they're cute. They're so cute and I love them. So yes, thank y'all for watching and please make sure you're subscribed if you're not to stay tuned for my other nipple piercing updates or just, just stick around to watch my other videos that I try to frequently post. But Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace and love.